Welcome to the Sugar Show. <laughs> YouTube fam, what a night of fights. UFC 256. Holy tits. That shit had me. Uh, you know I don't usually watch a, a lot of fights. Sometimes here and there I'll pop by watching. I watched most of them last night. Um, damn, those were sick. I lost money. I definitely, uh, every time I fucking bet, I swear to God I've never made money on the goddamn fights. Um, let me just find, I want to I wanna go through these. The, the most impressive, well, Brandon Moreno is super impressive. I never really would watch him fight too much. So I wasn't really knowing what to expect. But those Mexicans are literally the toughest goddamn people on earth. Um, Charles, oh, and Charles Oliveira just smoking Tony. You, and you guys wanted to watch Habib fight Tony? I was, after watching uh, Kevin Lee hold Tony down, mounted him, and beat, it, beat his ass, I was like, Habib would maul Tony. So that fight probably never played out because Tony might have died. Love Tony Ferg, but that's just the truth. Um, that Sirall gone dude. I didn't even know who the fork that was. That dude comes out looking like a just like high level. You know I love that word, high level striker. But over Juden Dos Santos Jr.'s on a four fight KO loss streak. That's tough. That's tough for a legend. Um, but gone gain whatever his name is. That dude's an animal. I'm a heavyweight, jacked, fast, good kickboxer. Uh, I want to go back and look at some of his previous fights because that dude, that dude was sick. And then Kevin Hall and Rajakre. I had Rajakre winning that fight, but I wasn't. Rajakre is such a bad motherfucker. And Kevin Hall and just that reach, that reach is something else. That reach is hard to deal with. Active off his back, black belt. Threatening Jacques Ray. That fight was sweet to watch. Kevin Holland, five fights this year. Dana said he made a lot of money this year. That fight was so. That was fight was sweet to watch. Him versus Izzy's an interesting matchup. I mean, just as far as a uh, that. I wonder who has a longer reach. I have to look that up. But that's a. It's an interesting matchup. Damn. There's some sweet fights last night. Kinsey Dern versus that, that other chick. That other chick was tough as shit. I didn't know who that was. Um, but her versus McKinsey was a badass fight. McKinsey broke her nose in the second round. Um, her coach, her corner, uh, Perillo, did awesome in the corner. Um, I trained with McKinsey for quite a while in, at the lab here in Phoenix. One of the toughest chicks I've ever trained with. Never complained, never bitches. Never, she's just a tough, tough girl who works hard. Um, and she's looking, each fight she's looking way more improved, way more in shape, way just, just like a better athlete. Um, so I think the, the switch to, over to that gym was, was helpful for her. And then the coat man, you got Tony Ferguson versus Charles Oliveira. The, when that fight got announced, I was like, Charles is going to bust Tony up. He's just more technical. Tony makes too many mistakes. And then I watched... Charles versus Kevin Lee again. That's the when I first watched it the first time. That's why I thought Charles was gonna bust him up. And then I went and rewatched it. Watched it the other day. And I was like, "Fuck, I don't know. Charles is gonna, might gas out, might get overwhelmed." But I was wrong. Charles beat the tits off of Tony. That jujitsu, his jujitsu looks so fucking sharp, so sweet, so heavy on top, such good control. Um, it was super fun to watch. Uh, um, before I got into jiu-jitsu, I would have thought that fight sucked. I would have been like, that fight was boring. But understanding how high level those guys are on jiu -jitsu, in, in jiu-jitsu and watching the transitions, and you know that, that was super impressive from Charles. Um, you got he, him versus anybody in that lightweight, lightweight division. Sweet him versus Connor, him versus Poirier, him versus Gaethje. That, that he, there's a lot of interesting fights at lightweight, especially if uh, Chandler and Gaethje fight here soon. You know, Poirier and Connor are going to fight in January. That division's always on fire. The thing is, is Habib would still beat Charles' last prize, which is crazy to think about because we were excited about Tony versus Habib. Charles did that to Hab Charles did that to Tony, but Habib would probably 
do a Charles. That's an interesting one too. Then we got figure eight versus Brandon Moreno. What I took away from that fight was Figueredo, he had issues. There's two, two things. I, his boxing and striking wasn't as good as I thought it was, but it's still good as fuck. It's still high level. It's just not, not where I thought it was. Some of the things he was doing, eating a lot of shots, boom, 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 taking shots to give shots. Um, I guess you can do that at 25, but... Moreno had a good jab, was was way faster, quicker than I thought. I didn't really watch his fights before, so I didn't really know what to expect. Um, but that fight ended up being one of the sweetest fights. I watched it the entire fight, like, glued to the screen. I was jacked. That was that fight was sweet. Um, just sucks there's not that it, They're lucky it was a draw so they can run it back. Cause there's just not, who else? Who else in that division fights for that belt? I don't know. I don't know any. I could hardly name another 25er in the division. Um, so Figueredo, yeah, that, that fight was sweet, it was a draw, I don't know why, when I watched it, I thought Moreno won, especially with the minus one, uh, the takeaway, but I'd have to maybe rewatch it and think different, all together, the night, the, it was a pay-per-view card, I, I was talking a little shit on it, I'm like, eh, it's not that big of a card, <sighs> card was badass, every single fight, let me see the prelims, I don't even know. I know I missed a couple of the. I can't even find them. Uh, the pre I watched the main card, but I think the prelims were good too. Yeah, I don't know. Um, follow me on Twitch, Sugar Show. No, shit. What is it? Sugar Show underscore OG. Sugar Show OG underscore. Fuck. I don't know. I'll have the link in my bio. Follow me on Twitch. I'm going to be doing some giveaways, some subscriber giveaways. We might even do a subscriber Warzone tournament here soon. The new Warzone's coming out soon. Real soon. Um, I want to do a video versus Cheeto versus Aldo. How I see that fight playing out. I'm going to go watch all those last couple fights, get a better idea. And I really hope they post the, the Cheeto versus my fight on YouTube. Um, because I think it'll be a good a good refresher for you guys to watch that fight. Um, you beat the Sugar Show, you fight a title contender, that, or someone that just lost a title fight. So, I don't know. We'll see. I think uh, I think I won that. No, I'm sure. All right, Deuces, YouTube fan, follow me on Twitch. Be doing some giveaways, some shit. You know, what I'm saying Deuces.